Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of The Early Bird. Thank you so much for joining us. This week we have Mia Spadafora who's going to tell us about a business she started over the summer. But before we get to that, we are sponsored as always by Fortino's. Who knows, everybody loves a good deal, especially on their groceries. And to get one of the best deals in town, students can head over to Fortino's Main West every Tuesday with their student card to get a discount on their groceries. And just a couple quick items in the news and some important stuff. This month, October, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, as well as Women's History Month. We will be making some posts about that, so be sure to check both those things out on our Instagram at McMaster Sports. For right now, let's head into the interview with Mia Spadafora. Here we are with Mia Spadafora of women's basketball. Mia, uh, so happy to have you on the show. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Um, so we're here today to talk about a business uh, you started uh, just recently, this past June, uh, during this quarantine lockdown period. Um, tell us about your business a little bit. So I do call this my like quarantine project or quarantine business. I mean, there wasn't really much going on for a long time. So kind of had to do something to fill the time. Not having basketball was really tough even during the summer months. So it was nice to fill the time. Um, but basically I have a cricket machine for those who know what that is. It's just a crafting machine and I just use it to create custom items. A lot of the things I do, um, mostly, uh, Starbucks tumblers or um, I'm doing song frames now which I really love but the best thing about it is honestly you can customize anything so that's a mm. hard part for me is to just kind of limit myself because I don't want yeah. people, what is this girl doing like there's so much you can do that it's hard for people to understand what you're doing mm. um, I can do everything between masks uh, dog bandanas like I even do customized Sweet. stickers you know? So yeah, it's 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 kind of nice that it's very customizable. So you can come with me, come to me with any idea or vision in your head, and we can kind of put it on anything you want, which is really really nice. Right. Was there kind of an initial like item that you started with? I'm looking at your Instagram right now, and we'll shout that out. It's uh, Custom Creations and Co. Uh, all spelled out on Instagram. Uh, very nice, beautifully laid out, I have to say. Uh, you've got a lot of uh, cups I'm noticing here, like the to-go cups, I guess you'd call them. Is that kind of your main thing, your best seller? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think I, I did start with mugs mostly, and everyone loves a good mug, but you can get that anywhere. So it was really tough to kind of get that going from just that. Um, but everyone mm -hmm. loves to-go tumbler, to be honest. And, and I think that's what really kind of put me on the map is having that. Um, so yeah, I, I would say that is my best seller, but song frames actually, when I started doing those have been my, mm. one of their best sellers, which is really, really nice. So, and for people who don't know, those are just, um, they kind of look like the Spotify screen, got your favorite song on it, hanging yeah. on your wall. And the nice thing nice. about that too is like, obviously if you want, um, the album cover, you can, but if there's a special memory asserted with that song, you can send oh, cool. me a Oh, and you can put that instead of the song um, album cover, which is really nice too. Oh, perfect. You do it all. Custom Creations & Co., your one-stop shop. Why now? I mean, you've got a lot of downtime uh, with no basketball training right now. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, but why is now a good time to start a business? Honestly, that's a great question. I think when I first started this, I, I didn't even do it to start a business. I just really wanted to fill time. Because like, mm -hmm. that, like with quarantine, especially really in the midst of it all, there was not much going on. So I just, I was living at my family home for a long time when I'm usually back and forth between my student house and my family home. So that was a transition in itself. Um, and then I just, I, I got to the point where I'm like, you know what, Netflix has nothing else to offer me. So I need to do something <laughs> so productive. I need to really do something because like I said, when you are on a sports team, like you're always go, go, go and very busy. So it was very hard to really have nothing to do and like no initiative or anything like that or anything to challenge yourself really. Um, so that's, I think that's really the main reason I started it. I, um, I first started, my mom actually owns um, some retail stores. She owns some homework um, stores. Um, and I first started doing that just to put some different items in her store, like customized mm -hmm. items. Um, and then it started from doing that. And then I started doing stuff for myself and then for my friends. And then they've just kind of encouraged me to put yourself out there. Who cares if it doesn't 
get taken off the ground. Who cares? Just do it. You have Mm -hmm. nothing going on. So I think that was the main reason. And I don't know, like, I I guess there's never really a right time because I had nothing really going on. But with school picking up and stuff like that, it is busier now. Um, So it's just, it's a a nice balance because before it was kind of my main priority and my only Mm -hmm. focus for a while during quarantine. Um, But now I kind of like that it's a nice balance. It's like you have a nice structure to your day. You always have something going on um, and to fill Mm -hmm. the day busy which i really like let's talk about the reason you have so much free time uh what are you guys uh doing as a team right now to stay in shape stay ready are you in contact with your teammates a lot are you uh, seeing them at all yeah i think that's something that's really special about our team is we have a really great bond so even throughout all of this when we couldn't physically see each other we always put one day a week to kind of get together, have a Zoom call and to just have that night together. We just spend like every second together. As crazy as it sounds, we can't get enough of each other. But it's tough right now. It's tough because even missing like the summer um, workouts and scrimmages, it was tough to stay motivated because your teammates are what you keep you motivated. I mean, you, of course, have self-motivation. You have um, you have goals you want to meet. But it's hard to do that on your own, especially with such a team-oriented sport. And now it's it's nice. A lot of us are back in Hamilton um, since school started up. We're all in our student houses, which is nice. So we can kind of see each other and we formed our own little bubble together, which is really, really nice. Um, so now at least we can do some lifts together. But yeah, other than that, it's tough because we can't get into Burridge, which is really, really disheartening for us. It's really tough to um, mm-hmm. stay away from that place. And there's times of the year where you're just like, oh, I just... I'm here so much now it's like you really take it for van- uh, for granted and advantage of it because mm-hmm. we can't even get there. So it's really, really tough. Well, that's good. I- I'm glad you guys are staying together and uh, fingers crossed for that winter season. We can see you guys out on the basketball court again. You are a heck of a three point shooter, three point contest on the team. Who wins? <laughs> Say you. Know. you know what? We're a very great shooting team. I'm not going to put past Sarah Gates. I don't think that I would beat Sarah Gates, maybe on a good day. Mm. But I think that'd be a really good competition between the two of us for a three point competition. But right on. Maybe we'll have to organize that someday. Yeah. Put that together. Yeah, exactly. Right on. <laughs> That's Mia Spadafora. Her business is Custom Creations and Co. Mia, what's the best way to buy from you? Um, I have a website actually. The link is in my bio on my Instagram. Mm-hmm. So check that out. Um, but if you do want customizable items, go through my Instagram and DM me and I will ha- be happy to see what you want and we can go from there. Right on. Once again, that is at Custom Creations and Co. I'll go check that out on Instagram. The stuff is amazing. Mia, thank you so much for joining us uh, and we hope to see you again very soon. Thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. That's our show for this week. Thank you so much for joining us on another episode of The Early Bird. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at McMaster Sports and keep posted for more episodes of The Early Bird. We are sponsored by Fortino's Main West. Be sure to head over there every Tuesday with your student card for a discount on your groceries. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in next week. We will see you then.